This machine does the work of several construction workers. It lays down the concrete in layers and can build four square meters of wall per hour. That's how Europe's largest 3D printed building is being constructed, an industrial building without windows. Site manager Shigeizi Ugwu from Nigeria, who studied in Germany, is happy with the progress. But when you talk about sophisticated buildings like this, where you have this type of, um, of uh, architecture, where you have a wavy architecture and all that, and you have to create a special type of framework for this, then we are more, more than three times faster than conventional buildings. There's enough concrete in the silo to last for two days. It travels from the hose into the nozzle that runs along a track. The process isn't just faster, it also needs less material and fewer workers. And it's cleaner than on conventional construction sites. All we need to build this beautiful uh, building you are seeing here is just three people. One person that operates the printer, one person that operates the mixing machine, and one person that just walks around, makes sure everything is good, puts the anchors and do other little things, which is basically what I do. As construction site manager, Ugwu's responsible for checking the concrete mixer. He also takes care of office work on a smartphone. It's a much more relaxed atmosphere than on other sites. At intervals, they attach anchors to support the double walls. His colleague monitors the 3D printer on the computer screen. But how does the 3D printer know what to print? So basically the process is that the architect designs the building with our help. You know, we impute, we tell him this is what is possible, this is what is not possible. Then after the design, he gives us the step file. That is the, the step file, which is more like a center line design of the building. Then we will slice it with a slicer. We will send this step file to a slicer. Then we slice it, and then we get a G code. Then we send it to the printer, and then we start to print. Peri, a German company, constructed the building with a BOD2 3D printer made by the Danish company Kobold. The structure's cement ceilings are being poured conventionally and are supported until the concrete dries. It takes six months to build the building, 54 meters long, 11 meters wide, and 9 meters high. The building doesn't require any windows because it will only house computer servers. The architect Jan Volkmann has designed the largest and highest 3D printed building ever. It's made possible through the use of steel girders, a new development in 3D printer construction. Mm -hmm. The special attraction is that you can experiment with this construction method and find out exactly what you can create within the guidelines of some very simple architectural requirements. That's not possible with any other technology, and that's what drove us. The owner and developer is a real estate agent who wanted to build something new and innovative on the landmarked site. The price was high, so he needed to know that it would generate a profit. We invested a total of 2.5 million euros here, including the land, and I can't tell you what it would have cost if we had built conventionally, because we switched to 3D printing relatively quickly. I just wanted to know, can I make it economically viable with 3D printing? And I did. The site manager also has to do some work by hand, especially the places where the printer stops and starts. He might have to make small corrections, but he doesn't ever want to go back to conventional construction. I really don't think I will be moving back to the, to the conventional construction site. But, I mean, nobody knows the future, but I, I really believe that um, 3D printing will grow and grow higher. And then with this, uh, I think I will remain with uh, 3D printing. Building with 3D printers is rapidly moving out of the experimental phase and into the commercial market. As for Chigeize Ugu, he and his 3D printer have enough construction contracts for the next two years. <laughs>